understand there's a fantastic development in an emerging precinct in Glebe. So it's a really exciting time to own property in the area. Because tonight's about welcoming our purchases and celebrating the end of the project. Welcome and enjoy your night. Purchasers will look forward to the beautiful natural light. Um, there's plenty of storage. We've paid special attention to the finishes, particularly in the bathrooms and the splashbacks in the kitchen. So there's quite a few feature, feature things they get to live with and love. So the buyers at West End have predominantly been the downsizers and the executives. It's really the location here that's been the main driver, being on the doorstep of the Sydney CBD and also having the connection to, to Glebe and the Inner West lifestyle. Rather than just creating a residential building, uh, what we wanted to do is uh, create a story through uh, architecture and design. I think that's been achieved with uh, the Art House and the Foundry buildings, uh, two truly magnificent buildings, and uh, what we consider landmark buildings for architecture in Sydney. The success of the development was a uh, down testament to the project team. It truly was a collaborative process uh, for all involved from early planning phases through to design and delivery. Um, we're really proud of the outcome and the the finished product and we hope our purchasers uh, feel the same sense of pride living in their apartments for years to come. We were inspired by the heritage warehouse buildings in the area. They're a well-loved form and, and we like them too. So we tried to bring some of the distinctive characteristics of those buildings and bring it into this, this West End project with a, a modern twist. Hutchison Builders have uh, been around for 107 years this year. Family owned business, uh, largest family owned construction business in Australia. The quality that we, we deliver, uh, we stand behind and we're happy to stand behind for you know, the longevity of the project and the build. <laughs>